Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump hilariously trolls Beto O'Rourke in front of reporters. Early Thursday morning, Beto O'Rourke announced that he would be running for president, and President Trump is already making fun of the young Texan. While being interviewed by reporters in the White House, President Trump made fun of Beto's wild hand movement, which Trump claimed he has never seen anything like it before. Well, I think he's got a lot of hand movement. I've never seen so much hand movement," Trump told reporters during an Oval Office while he was meeting with Irish Prime Minister Leo Varadkar. I said, is he crazy or is that just the way he acts? So I've never seen hand movement, I watched him a little while this morning, doing I assume it was some kind of a news conference," President Trump continued. In the video clip you can hear people laughing about the president's comments in the background. Trump added, and I've actually never seen anything quite like it. Study it. I'm sure you'll agree. Beto has only been a Democratic presidential candidate for a few hours and President Trump is already branding the young Democrat. Not good news for little Beto. On Thursday, Beto, the man whose only claim to fame is that he lost to Ted Cruz in the Texas Senate race, announced that he would be running for president. Check out what we reported earlier about Beto's run for president. In an odd way of confirming he was going to run, Beto contacted a local news outlet via text message on Wednesday that he was running. Then, he made it official at the crack of dawn on Thursday while on MSNBC? Very weird, low-key announcement for someone so keen on attention. The 46-year-old was an unknown before his underdog campaign to unseat Republican incumbent Ted Cruz that was heavily backed by deep-pocketed California activists made him into a national name and with the support of Hollywood, O'Rourke gave Cruz a serious scare before narrowly losing in the deeply conservative state. But the establishment left had big plans for Beto a nickname that he adopted to appeal to Hispanics, who has been described in such glowing terms as Kennedy-esque and the white Obama and after a quirky series of publicity stunts, Thursday is the day when O'Rourke made it official. Until he challenged Republican Senator Ted Cruz last year, O'Rourke was little known outside his hometown of El Paso. But the Spanish-speaking 46-year-old former punk rocker became a sensation during a campaign that used grassroots organizing and social media savvy to mobilize young voters and minorities. He got within three percentage points of upsetting Cruz in the nation's largest red state, and shattered national fundraising records in the process, immediately fueling chatter that he could have higher ambitions. Beto has a large following within the Democratic Party but the young Texan has very little experience and hasn't really had any accomplishments according to Nancy Pelosi. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.